Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality, back again with some more Minecraft. Um, we'll get things started. We got a couple of projects around the house that we need to get to, so we'll sort of get them started and going. Uh, was working a little bit off camera. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to get is... I'll get two stacks of cobblestone. Just cause. Uh, but we are gonna grab our diamond sword. Yes. Creepy armory. That's where every time I go in the armory, it's some sort of ooh, ah, music. Anyway, uh, let's head on down. Um, but yeah, we did some work uh, after we stopped the last episode, and I've fully filled out my enchantment room so that's why we're grabbing the diamond sword we are at level 30 again um, one of the things uh, I failed to mention that uh, you'd need to be the same level as the enchantment you're trying to place onto it so I'm breaking three um, I'm breaking three is pretty good for a diamond sword it just makes it that much stronger or durable um, but it is a level 30 enchantment so I'm hoping that once we do this, we'll get some other enchantments along with it. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, fire Aspect and Smite. Uh, both are pretty good in their own right, but... Mm. Um, but yeah, after uh, I uh, stopped the camera, um, I enchanted uh, one of my iron pickaxes. It's got Silk Touch on it now, so I can use that for... Um, grabbing any block, including these bookshelves that I grabbed from that deserted village. <laughs> That's right, I'm not uh, waiting for cows and paper to grow. Uh, I'm uh, taking the shortcut and getting the easiest uh, way of uh, getting that. So, yeah, let's get on breaking three and see if there's anything else. On breaking three and bane of anthropods. Oh, spiders fear me. All right. We'll put it on and see if uh, if uh, uh, any anthropods come our way. Uh, but we'll put our lip bobbles back. So yeah, there's our soap touch on breaking three. So it's a fairly decent pickaxe, and we'll keep it around for doing particular projects. Uh, may wait till uh, level thirty to enchant our diamond pickaxe. Hopefully we can get something great like, um, uh, what is it? Fortune? Fortune allows you to get more minerals when you're mining it. Uh, so yeah, I got a bunch of chests ready to go uh, for all my enchanted books and, and golden apples and, and sort of all the other magical stuff that'll be sort of here. So no, I am liking the end result here, so I definitely like the fireplace, just sort of give that ambiance in the background. Uh, okay, so we've started our tunnel into the underground, and I have the doors set to buttons. We'll head that way in a moment. But I started this tunnel to sort of go towards our garden, uh, and so we are at... 84, 85. Our elevation is 58, so that's what I sort of have to remember because we are 58. <laughs> 58, remember, 58, 84 is our, well, that's the depth. We're going to reach that anyway. Um, but if we go back upstairs, if we go back upstairs, uh, first off, We got some stone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to supercharge uh, this furnace here so we can start making uh, our cobblestone into stone, regular stone, and then our regular stone into smooth stone. And that will be because I did some, um, I guess, some rejiggering of our fencing area so I can make room for our little food storage room, uh, which we'll be doing here. So I haven't started digging it yet. That's what I was sort of waiting for the camera. Uh, 
<laughs> Great. What, what was that? 58? Uh, I don't remember. I'd be so mad. Be, I think it's 58. Please tell me I'm right. 58. Was that the elevation of the... Come on. All I need to do. 58. Yeah, that's the elevation we want. Trying to line up these tunnels is a little bit of a... A little bit of a chore, but you know, the end result is worth it, so. Okay, 58. Got it now. Alright, so let's start digging down until we reach elevation. Pickaxe. One more. Alright, this will be our elevation to connect with the tunnel. So we can. <gasps> and we're here already. Perfect. Oh, good. All right. Uh, so what I was going to do is I'm going to start sticking up some ladders so we have our alternate exit. Um, but I'm going to hollow this out and it will... I'm going to make this all stone here, but for now... All right, and that should get us out. And it does. All right. Awesome. Does it? Come on. There we go. Okay. As long as it works, <laughs> that's all I care about. Uh, let's go back and close that. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we can start making this a little bit bigger. Um, I'll put a door with another button system on it, uh, just so that... Uh, uh, just so that... Um, uh, if monsters come around, they're stopped by the door, and, and we don't have to worry about it. Uh, okay, so... Uh, I'm actually taking up way too many sides here, but you know what? That's fine. We'll, we'll deal. I usually have a 3x3 three three center area, uh, so I'm going to take one more section out here so that it's not quite so cramped. I don't know. I think that'll work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this room with smooth stone. Um, there will be a bunch of chests in here to sort of keep all our food stocks, which will be quite handy for sure. Uh, what I am going to do is just take out whatever dirt I find. Who wants dirt in a cold room? Am I right? Uh, and in one of my other games, I, I sort of made the same thing, but I made it with, like, there was ice surrounding it, so. Uh, okay, so. We are going to put another crafting table in here in case we need it. Um, but this is good, so. Uh, yeah. So one more, and then that's that will be the section where I line. Ooh, I run. Gotta get the iron. All right, there, it's gotten. Yay. And we'll go one more deep here. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot more easier than I thought it'd be. Fair enough. All right, so then we're back here, and then click on that, and we're back in our house. And this will all just sort of go together at the end. So that is awesome. Okay, so we got 32 stone. Get rid of that one. And get rid of that, and start making our smooth stone. Okay. 
what we can also do while we have you guys on camera, uh, we're going to take out our iron ingots. Because now that we're starting to blow levels and we don't have to save for 30 uh, block of iron. So we need three. You know what? Four is fine. But we need three to make an anvil. Some in the last episode, they may be downstairs. Considering that's where we need to go next. Anyway, come on. There we go. Yeah, ladder's a little bit uh, wonky at times, but you know what? It's fine. All right. So, final important piece for the armory. There it is. So, I wanted to get the anvil out. Aha. Because we got name tags and you can do name tags or you can only do name tags on the anvil uh, let's just do one for now uh, and then whatever you name the name tag Cost one enchantment to do that, which is fine. And just go out to commemorate our first doggy. We will name him. Uh, Chip was the uh, name of one of my old dogs when I was growing up. So, whenever a dog comes into play in one of these games, he gets the moniker of that. So, all right. Moving right along here. Uh, so we'll put the ladders away. Uh, oh, I guess I should smelt my one iron ore. Go. I said go. Um, but I've still got two name tags and two horses, so they'll be the next things I name. And I'll probably do that off camera. Um, haven't really gotten any suggestions in the comments or anything like that. So, you know what? You snooze, you lose. So I'll just name them whatever. Maybe whatever and whoever. Uh, okay, now we're getting into our next big project. Actually, let's see what our uh, 21 we should. Uh, let's go back to the food store for a moment. Uh, all right, nope, it's right there. So smooth stone. Start lining the walls, at least to get this started, and it'll look much nicer. I'm sure there could be other nice blocks that could do this, but you know what, for now, smooth stone will do. be all lined with the smooth stone with the door and then eventually like I said I'm gonna create another tunnel and I'll sort of have a little minecart uh, section going off to um, that mine shaft uh, I'll try and make a sort of like a sub secondary base there and you know just sort of have it available for uh, doing projects in there because we will be in later episodes. Uh, we'll take that back uh, and we got the end site. We can get rid of that as well. So 
it won't be needed for our next step. Which I needed all this for. So let's start grabbing it here. Because the main reason we are getting stuff together today is for creating our nether portal. Our portal to the nether. Uh, and it was aching for a couple of days to sort of figure out what I wanted to do. Ultimately, that's what this door is going to lead to. So all it is right now, it's a stairway that leads into our sort of pool section. Um, but I figured that I'll create sort of, I went through a couple of designs. I even had to create a, um, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? Uh, I created a creative game, uh, in just in order to sort of piece together a couple of ideas I had, uh, cause I actually did want to make this sort of myself. I could has, have easily stuck another portal um down in a mine shaft and um set uh it all up um sort of underground um cordoned off safe all that sort of stuff i was like what's the fun in that let's try and make this a little bit more interesting so uh i figured since i'm in a wooded um very green floral type environment um, I was going to create a tree coming out of the water. And where did I screw it up? <sighs> Come on, up. <laughs> I'll just get that back. Um, I actually do want the logs to go the correct way. Come on. Ooh. There we go. So I was thinking like a big tree coming out of the water that is housing this sort of portal on top of it. So in a moment, uh, we'll probably go through a little bit of a time lapse as I sort of construct this thing, um, but we'll get that underway. I should have enough materials to sort of get that sort of going. Um, but. Uh, yeah, we'll start this project off and uh, we'll reconvene once I'm done and we'll test it out. Be right back. Him. Toasty.
Okay, guys, it's the moment of truth. Uh, let's grab something quickly from the armory, which will be... No. We give us our pickaxe back. I uh, actually wanted to pick up... Sure, take it. I want the helmet. Uh, do I have to have an empty hand in order to... Can I please move... Come on. Seriously, what's going on here? All right. <laughs> Fine. There we go. <laughs> uh, we'll put on the gold helmet. Uh, so we'll put on the gold helmet. And we'll get our flint and steel back. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Hold on to that cobblestone for a moment. It's not important. Anyway, let's uh, let's head on out. Uh, as you saw through the time lapse, it sort of got the basic structure down. I'll spend a little time off camera beautying it up, but there it is, and it's just night. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Um, if the monsters are about, it doesn't matter. We got ourselves a little bit of a path leading up to it. There we go. So let's light her up. A sight to behold. Uh, yeah, I wanted to make a little bit of a frame around it, but yeah, like I said, I had the idea of like this big tree, and I will make it bigger, but it's like this big tree and the portal sort of coming out of the side. Uh, and then I'll use these smooth slabs to sort of make like a uh, sort of like a mystical uh, walkway coming from that uh, tunnel up to the portal. Um, but since we've got it going, I'm not going to leave you guys in suspense. Let's walk through and uh, hope we don't die. <laughs> I sort of uh, got myself the base necessities. I also got a couple of stacks of cobblestone in case uh, we need to sort of secure our portal on the other end. For now, moment of truth, let's see what uh, what is on the other side of this. Okay, get out, get out. Okay, we're sort of on uh, sort of the, the green mushroom nether binome. Um, which is not bad. At least it's not an immediate drop off, but as you can see, um, plenty of danger to be around. So uh, that's why I brought the cobblestone. I want to make sure that um, this area is nice and secure. So get some netherrack. Oh, oh Enderman. Enderman sort of hang out in the nether as well. Nether, if you're not aware, um, it's like, it's like evil. <laughs> it, it may look all green and nice here, but no, it's, it's evil. Um, <laughs> there's lava everywhere. Lava flows like water, so don't get caught in that. Um, there are plenty of elevations to drop off from, so if you're not careful, not looking at you, Enderman. Go away. Um, if you're not careful, uh, one wrong step and you're sort of going downwards. So, um, and then there's just enemies that will... Everything in the nether just sort of is out for your blood. Uh, except for like zombie pigmen. And at least they're nice for the simple fact that uh, if you don't attack them, they don't attack you. So we'll make it a point of not attacking them. Uh, is that... can't remember. Warp fungus. Okay, that will be helpful for sort of keeping um, big boar-like creatures, hoglins, away. Um, but I brought the cobblestone because I wanted to uh, make... Uh, we will make a base around our portal. Uh, for now, I wanted to just sort of secure it. 
So uh, give me a couple of moments and we'll get that under wraps. Okay, we've secured that a little bit, so at least if any um, ghastly creatures, and they are called ghasts, yes, Enderman, what do you want? Oh, you want me? Come get it. Come get it. Endermen don't scare me, and they can't come into my house. Into my nether portal house. That's right. Back here! Back here and fight me! Alright, I'll get his pearl another day. Alright, maybe I'll get his pearl. Hello! Oh, ow! 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 ow. Is he just going to warp onto the other side and just keep forgetting about me? All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm not that scared of them, at least. Uh, okay, well, here we are at the nether. Uh, yay, I guess. Um, actually, it's cool that we are in this. I can sort of collect some of this wood for some of the, the uh, potion brewing stuff that I'll have going on at my main base, but ultimately we needed to, well, I'll need to scout around and we're here for a couple of things and they will sort of be necessary in order for us to get to the end. Um, uh, I hope I can uh, <laughs> find some other creatures other than the uh, Endermen that are hanging around. Like, I mean, it's cool that I've Landed at a spot where they're uh, abundant, uh, but as you can see, yeah, deadly drops. Uh, so don't like that. Don't like that at all. Uh, so we'll need to scout around um, and hopefully find a couple of structures that are sort of in the area. Oh, and we get uh, okay. So we got a basalt uh, binome nether binome here as well, so okay, that'll be useful. But I'm not seeing anything sort of immediately. Because I don't think I'm seeing anything immediately. Oh, ghast! One thing I hate out of the nether from anything, it's those guys. Hi! They fire big fireballs at you and blow up stuff around you. So at the very least, I'm able to... Ow! <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> anything anything in the nether is just sort of out to get you. Uh, if I can get... Ow, 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 ow. Well, now he's there to get me. Come on, move, move, move! Oh, I'm gonna die! Yep. <laughs> well, at least I made it back into my house. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... Before ending it off, I'm gonna see if I can just scramble and get my gear from the nether. Uh, we weren't too far away from the portal, and at least we uh, structured it up, so uh, it will or should remain safe um, as we sort of establish our foothold there. <laughs> uh, no, other way. All right. YOLO! You wonder why I don't like 
guests. Yes, Enderman, I'm not out for you right yet. Don't leave me alone. And then all our uh, experience went away. I'm not very happy about that. Uh, but at the very least, it wasn't too... You know what? I kind of expected to uh, sort of have that as the outcome, so whatever. Uh, but we'll grab some mushrooms here, because I don't think we've found brown mushrooms yet. Uh, oh, and building blocks. Okay. I think I've gotten everything. Let's get everything back on. Okay, that's uh, ah, those are magna blocks. And although we didn't meet any sort of in this game, they're much like slimes where you defeat the big one and smaller ones come out to get you. I'm not. <laughs> go away, go away, go away. Not the very least, it's action packed. Oh, <laughs> and they drop some magnet cream, which, you know, eh, they drop experience too. Everything's good now. Now that we're back to zero, or level eight. But just gotta keep in mind of where I need to go. Um, it may be worth interesting to uh, go down there. I don't know if that's a fortress down there. Uh, if it is, um, then <laughs> we got ourselves in the right foothold because the fortress is where we need to go uh, for everything that's sort of interesting in the nether. But for now, I think we've played with the creatures enough. Um, I will sort of come back off camera and build this up, build it stronger, build it better, uh, and establish my... For now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, drop me a like, hit me with, with a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more as we venture further into this Minecraft adventure. Until the next time, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.